Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrea and I am a full-time Etsy seller. I have been selling on the platform for eight years, which is crazy to say. And this is my YouTube channel where I share everything I've learned in the past and everything I am learning currently about selling on Etsy and being a small business e-commerce seller. So that is what we talk about on this channel. Today, specifically, we are going to talk about how to use an email list for your Etsy shop. Okay, so if you're in the small business um, world at all on Instagram or YouTube or whatever social media network that you prefer, if you're in the small business niche in any way, then you have definitely heard before that email lists are super important. Um, I feel like it's something that people talk about all the time, um, how important they are for your business. And so today we are gonna be talking about why they're important for Etsy sellers too, how to set them up and when to use them. So that's what we're gonna dive into today in this video is basically all things email list for Etsy sellers. The reason why they are so important for your small business, for any small business, but especially, not especially, any small business, including Etsy sellers, is because they algorithm proof your business, which I'm sure you've heard, again, if you're in any sort of small business niche, you've definitely heard that before. The reason why that is true is because you take your list with you regardless of the email service provider that you're using. So it's not like Instagram or Etsy or Facebook or Twitter or whatever you're using to, TikTok, whatever you're using to market your business where there's an algorithm and things based on search and all that sort of thing. It's basically like if you can get someone to subscribe to your list, you now have them on your list and you can take that list no matter how you send your emails out, that list is now yours. And also another reason why impacts are I guess, make sure business algorithm proof is that emails for the most part, obviously there's like primary folders, social promotions, emails for the most part end up in the same spot. So for the most part, if you're sending an email to a customer, what like obviously there are cases where it can go to spam and all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, it's ending up right next to another really big businesses brand or whatever in their inbox. And Instagram or Etsy, Etsy kind of that way, Instagram, TikTok is not that way. So it's sort of the reason why it's so important is that it's one step towards algorithm proofing your business. So that is the why, like why you should be setting up an email list. The how, this is a super crash course in how to set up an email list. So basically what you're gonna do is choose a service provider, which is basically the platform that hosts your list and where you send emails from. And then you are going to need to create an opt-in for um, people to subscribe. So a reason for them to get on your email list, and then you are going to need to send them emails. And that is the crash course on how to have an email list for your small business, for your Etsy shop. So obviously that was a super watered down version of what email list marketing is. I want you guys to know that there are there could be and literally are entire courses dedicated to the just email list marketing. And so this video is meant to be an overview. If it's something that you think really fits your shop and you wanna go like full speed ahead, I definitely recommend checking out people's courses, but, and I'll share some resources at the end, but this is an overview. So, but I wanted to talk about how that looks like what I just talked about setting it up, what that looks like specifically for my business so you can see it kind of in practice. So the first step, like I mentioned, was choosing an email service provider. At Saltwater Prep, we use the uh, Flowdesk for a number of reasons. The first reason that we use it is that it is inexpensive. So Flowdesk, unlike any other email service provider, has unlimited subscribers, and so your monthly fee does not go up based on the amount of subscribers you have, which is truly insane. If you've ever done any sort of um, looking into email service providers, you know that that is absolutely nuts. So your monthly price stays the same based on your subscribers. And so it ends up being really, really inexpensive to have a list on Flowdesk. So that is one reason why we use it. The other reason why we use it is that it's really easy to use and it's really easy to draft really pretty emails, which is really important to us because we obviously have a brand that we are trying to uh, keep everything coming from our brand, all the forward-facing aspects of our brand on uh, on brand, like 
in line with our target market. And so Flowdesk makes that really easy to do. This is not a promotion for Flowdesk. Um, I just, I'm just talking about why we chose Flowdesk. And then the other, the third reason is that it works for what we need it for. So Flowdesk is not good if you are going to want to run um, really complicated funnels with retargeting and all that kind of stuff. But um, it's perfect for what we need at Saltwater Prep. Um, we really like it for basic funnels, sending out pretty emails out of the email service providers, which I've tried a lot of them. This one definitely has the most easy interface and the prettiest emails. Like we're able to stay really on brand, which is really, really important for our saltwater prep list. So that is why we choose uh, Flowdesk. Other options are MailChimp, MailerLite, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit. There's more. Those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head, but we chose to use Flowdesk. I do have an affiliate link for Flowdesk in the link in the description, and I believe it gives you 50% off of your Flowdesk subscription for the lifetime that you have it. And so that one's really cool. It makes it half off forever for as long as you have it. So check that out if you are interested in check signing up on Flowdesk. Like I said, once you have chosen your email service provider, the next thing you need to do is create an opt-in so people subscribe. No one is going to subscribe to just like check out our newsletter or anything like that. That's kind of like, a thing of the past, you definitely have to give them a reason to subscribe. At Saltwater Prep, we have several different opt-ins. Um, we have an opt-in for a free keychain with any purchase, and then we have opt-ins for a gift guide and iPhone wallpapers. I was trying to think of the opt-ins that we have. Um, obviously, the more opt-ins you have, the more email list subscribers you can get, and so it's all a matter of what is worth it to you to put in for your business. Um, we There is some strategy involved in having a opt-in that requires a purchase to use and then an opt-in that does not require a purchase to use, and so if you were gonna start with two opt-ins, I would I would start with that. So that might look like a 10% off coupon and then something like affirmations or a planner or a free download of some sort. So having an opt-in that you can use for a purchase, which ours is a free hotel, motel, free motel keychain with any purchase and then having an opt-in that requires no purchase at all and they still get something free out of it and so they end up on your list. Those are the opt-ins that we use at Saltwater Prep, and I recommend thinking through what could be a good branded email opt-in for your shop for whenever you set up your email list. Okay, so that brings us to the send emails portion of the crash course, how to set up an email list, the send email portions of this video. At Saltwater Prep, all of our opt-ins are set up to go into a funnel, an automated funnel. So basically, whenever someone signs up and says, yep, I want free iPhone wallpapers, they then get put into a funnel where it sends them a series of emails automatically based on certain factors. Don't let the concept overwhelm you. It is very, very, it's not hard to set up. It's one of those things that whenever you're hearing about it, it sounds overwhelming, then when you're doing it, it's not that overwhelming. It is a job, but it's one of those things. And those are sent automatically. So that is one option for sending emails is automatic emails. Uh, that is what most of our emails look like at Saltwater Prep. And then another option would be a email with a consistent frequency. So that looks like a newsletter that you send out every week or every month, updating people on what's happening at your shop. So that is another way to get people's inboxes is a newsletter or automatic funnels. Um, automatic funnels you can obviously set up in Flowdesk because we have done that. But those are kind of the two options that you have as far as emails to send. There are a slew of resources about what emails to send, which opt-ins, ideas, all that kind of stuff. Just search it on Google or Pinterest and you will get tons of inspiration for that. Like I said, the goal of this video was to give you a basic idea of what email lists are and how we use them at our Etsy shop and basically give you sort of an idea of what it is so that you can decide if it is right for your business, for your Etsy shop, um, if it's something that you wanna take on, I've or this year, or maybe next year, or whatever is best for you. If you are looking to get into this topic further, I definitely would recommend Jenna Kutcher. She has a ton of resources. I think she even has an entire course about email list marketing. Like I said, it is a very complex thing. There are people who uh, have dedicated much, much, much of their career to studying email lists 
strategies and how they work. And there's strategies specifically for service-based businesses and product-based businesses and all that kind of stuff. This is an extremely basic video. However, if you decide that it's something for you, you can definitely get started just by Googling and just one foot in front of the other starting your email list. And I definitely recommend checking Jenna Kutcher out if you are uh, interested in growing it more. If you are interested in learning more about Etsy and all those sorts of things, that is what we talk about on this channel. So I would love it if you hung out and subscribed. Make sure to download my free Etsy shop scorecard. It's basically just a scorecard so you can make sure your Etsy shop is set up fully and completely and all of your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. So make sure to download that in the link in description. I would love it if you decided to hang out with me here and thank you for watching.